So here is another question. We have a curve with the following equation and we want to find dy over dx in its simplest form in terms of x and y. We're going to, as always in part A, differentiate both sides with respect to x. And I can break this up in one move as follows. Okay, now differentiating 2 sine 2x well, that's the chain rule, so that's going to be 4 cos of 2x. This here is going to differentiate to uh, subtract sec squared y dy dx, and the differential of 0 is clearly 0. So therefore, um, what have we got here? We've got ourselves, um, we want to find what dy of dx in its simplest form. Um, we could add sec squared dy dx to both sides. So sec squared y dy dx is equal to 4 cos of 2x. And therefore dy over dx is going to be equal to 4 cos of 2x over sec squared y. And 1 over sec squared is cos squared. So dy dx is going to be equal to 4 cos 2x cos squared y and we're done. Okay the next we have to show that the tangent to the curve at pi by 6 pi by 3 has the following equation so what we're going to do for part b we're going to firstly work out dy by dx when x is equal to pi by 6 and y is equal to pi by 3 okay so that's going to be equal to 4 cos of 2x well 2 pi by 6 is, is clearly pi by 3 and cos of pi by 3 all squared. So that's going to be equal to 4. Cos of pi by 3 is a half, so 4 times a half. And cos of pi by 3 squared is a half squared. So we've got 4 times a half multiplied by a quarter, which is a half. So then we're going to use y subtract y1 is mx subtract x1. So we're going to do y subtract pi by 3 is going to be equal to a half x subtract pi by uh, 6. So uh, we're going to say y subtract pi by 3 is going to be equal to a half x subtract pi by 12 multiplying by half. Easiest thing to probably do here is to multiply everything by 12. So we're going to say 12y subtract 4 pi is equal to 6x subtract pi and we want it in the form uh, y equals a half x plus pi by 4 so we're going to try and make a y the subject of the formula so 12y is equal to 6x adding 4 pi to both sides would be plus 3 pi and dividing by 12 y is equal to 6x over 12 which is a half x plus 3 divided by 12 which is a quarter pi and that's exactly as wanted in the question, so we're done.